Hey y'all, Bradley do here. Um, May 7th, uh, past couple days, uh, no turkeys have been harmed by us. Uh, yesterday I hunted with Sydney. Uh, we were on a roosted bird, he gobbled good on the roost, flew down and pretty much that was it. He went silent on us, uh, gobbled maybe once or twice more, uh, but, but uh, was not real interested in turkey calls yesterday. So we, we went searching for a few spots and we ended up finding a gobbler that was all alone and uh, called the long beard right up to us, maybe 20, 25 yards away. And just a little bit of inexperience on, on Sydney's part, uh, the shot didn't happen, but, but it was definitely uh, within range and, 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 and a great hunt. He gobbled all the way in, uh, let us know he was coming. So it was pretty good, pretty good uh, special day for me to spend it with Sydney. We did uh, get on one more turkey, he only gobbled one time, um, and that was it. And that was about 11 o'clock this morning. I had to work. Imagine that, have to work. Um, but I uh, was able to get out first thing in the morning. Um, heard a bird roosted last night in a spot that I couldn't quite pinpoint where he was at, so I headed out in where I thought the gobble came from and sure enough there was turkeys gobbling up on top of this uh, maple maple ridge so I got as tight as I dared to uh, I waited a little bit later than I typically would get in get in the woods just because I didn't know exactly where he was at so he, they started gobbling on their own there was three of them gobbling up there and I, I uh, got in as tight as I could and ended up calling in a Jake I'll show you some of that footage um, and then the other birds were gobbling good. I don't know what they were for sure. My bet is one of them is a long beard, but I don't know that. I never put eyes on them. Um, but they went the other way. They didn't follow the Jake in. Jake came right up to the decoy, uh, messed around at the decoy for a bit. I didn't dare move my uh, camera, so I didn't get a lot of footage of him. He finally uh, fed up so I could get the camera turned and, and, and did get a little bit of footage of him and um, he hung out with me for maybe an hour just hanging out there not real interested in uh, leaving for, for whatever reason and as, as I'm calling to the other birds I had another bird come in from behind me to my left which actually was where I had originally set up to cover was that area and uh, he probably got 40, 45 yards away. I'm pretty sure it was a Jake, but he got came into view and saw something he didn't like, and then got right out of right right out of town. So um, we didn't get on. I didn't get on him either. But while the past two days, no no birds have been shot. We have still been on birds in the action. So no complaints here on my part. Um, I'm going to show the video, but uh, hopefully. We'll spice things up here by the end of the week, so we'll talk to you later.
Just had another bird come in. I was watching this jig. He seems to have spooked already. I think it was another jig, but I'm not positive.
cars don't seem to be getting any closer either. Not really sure what that other bird saw there. He didn't like. I had this cheek. I had this cheek here pretty much since early, early. The other bird was coming in off to my, uh, off to the left of the cheek. position on those goblin birds, but I also don't want to get too aggressive up here. I tell you, this is my, uh, before work, uh, hunting spot, so I don't want to bugger all the birds before I even get going here. Thank you. 